Hey everybody, it's P-Dubs. Thanks as always for hanging out upstairs with us and for checking out the channel. And on today's quick episode, I wanted to give you some feedback, thoughts, and let you know what I think about Fightcade. Well, what is Fightcade? Well, Fightcade is an online platform for retro gaming, in particular, where you and your buddies can play online retro fighting games against each other for free. It's totally awesome. We're talking all the classics, Marvel vs. Capcom, a bunch of Street Fighter games, Mortal Kombat, all that kinds of stuff. If you like playing these games, you can play these games on your PC free of charge online. There's spectating mode uh, and all that kinds of stuff. Rankings and things. I just got it up and running tonight and had a lot of fun doing so uh, once I figured out my button mapping and stuff, which we'll talk about here in just a minute. But for starters, though, I got to give a shout out uh, to my uh, good friend of the channel, B Kong from Kongs R Us. I'll have a link to his video in the video description below. This is the tutorial I followed. It's an 11 minute video, but honestly, guys, it takes you less than 11 minutes to get everything set up. I mean, to start with, all you have to do basically is go to their website, which I'll have this linked in the video description below as well, and go ahead and download Fightcade. And then, of course, after you download Fightcade, Watch B Kong's tutorial video. I don't want to have to refill my friend's tutorial video. You guys definitely want to check it out. He did a really good job with it and get it set up. And all you had to do was drag and drop a couple of files into a folder, which boom, 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 you're done. And then uh, you're ready to play. And then you have the Fightcade app now installed on your PC. And all you have to do is you go ahead and you launch your Fightcade application. And of course, once your Fightcade application launches, you'll have to obviously create a user ID and a password and all that kinds of stuff. And you can now start checking out all the different games available to play. And as you can see, there's a whole ton of them. I just got done playing Mortal Kombat, doing some test runs with some friends online. Yes, 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 console fanboy beat me. But hey, man, it was only the first three matches I played. But for instance, if you wanted to uh, if you wanted to check out and play, let's find something really cool here. So let's just pick uh, you want to play Mortal Kombat 2, right? Once you have it up and running, you just click on it and boom. Now it's over here in the top left quarter. Boom, you hit it. And look, you'll see that there's people online looking to play right now in the top right corner. So we got like a friend of the channel, Worst Jago, people like that. You could go ahead and just click on them and boom. You can challenge them. How do you want to challenge them? First to two, three, five, ten wins, twenty wins for a ranked match, or you could challenge them to an unranked match or cancel your challenge, of course. And it's really interesting. So let's go ahead and let's see if we can get him to accept the challenge. Now, what's funny about this though, dudes, is I don't have my controller plugged in, but you do need to get your controller plugged in. And when your controller is plugged in, when the game's launched, you set up your inputs. Um, whatchamacallit, um, in B Kong's video, he shows you how to set up your inputs and all that kinds of stuff. So as you can see here, uh, Worst Jago accepted the challenge. The game is up and running. I don't even have a controller plugged in in order to play him. But now we can play each other online. Now it's really cool. Now I'm going to leave this match. Worst Jago, I'm sure you'll watch this video and understand what happened here. We're going to go ahead and leave that match. My apologies, my friend. We're trying to do this. But what you can do here to kind of show you how it works is when there's other people playing, like right now there's some people playing, you get full spectating mode as well. And voila, we're going to go ahead and we are going to spectate this match. It's only going to take a minute to load and boom! As you can see here, these guys are playing first to five, Anek and Wolf. And if you are going to use this, if you are going to use this, highly recommend you use an Ethernet connection, not Wi-Fi. I've been playing, of course, my PC is connected to the Ethernet, and it works awesome! I mean, isn't that cool? I mean, that's pretty awesome if you ask me. Let's go ahead, let's get out of here. Let's head back over to the games. Let's go to search here. But as you can see here, guys, there are a ton and ton of games that you could play for free online retro fighting games 
You got Street Fighter 2, you got King of Fighters, Super Street Fighter, a whole bunch of King of Fighters, X-Men versus Capcom, SNK versus Capcom, and all that kinds of stuff. Turf Masters, Fatal Fury, Neo Bomberman, Windjammers. Oh, look at this, Dungeons and Dragons, Shadows Over Mysteria. That's not a fighting game, that's a co-op, uh, side-scrolling, uh, art, you know, a beat-em-up adventure game. That would be really cool to play as well with people. So, taking a peek here... There's lots and lots of cool stuff. Marvel Heroes, Marvel vs. Capcom 2. This is the one that you want to play as well. So as you, see, as you can see here, guys, this is all really, really cool stuff. Oh, check this out, because I'm online right now. Look at this. I've been challenged to first to five by Outworld Warrior. I can accept it and go ahead and play him, or I cannot. I don't have my controller plugged in right now, because I, I have my camera now plugged in, ran out of USB ports on my computer. But I just wanted to give you guys my impression. Overall, playing on Ethernet, no bad experiences, no input lag, nothing like that. It was a ton of fun to play. And although Fightcade has been around for a while, um, I've never tried it. And it was really cool to test this out tonight. And I got to give a big shout out to B Kong over at Kongs R Us. If you guys are interested in this stuff, make sure you guys check out his tutorial. Shows you how to set it up. It will only take you a couple of minutes to set up that's it all you gotta do is download it download the program let the program install drag and drop a couple of files set up your inputs for your controller and boom you're done you're up and running which is really really cool and make sure you guys follow the links in the video description if you're interested in this um, but i wanted to make this quick video to tell you guys that i think this is awesome and i'm looking forward to playing this um uh, Quite a bit, hopefully. Quite a bit. <laughs> I think this is really, really cool. And it's a great way to satisfy that itch to play retro fighting games online without having to buy, honestly, you know, five, six, seven hundred dollar arcade cabinets to do so. You could do this right on your computer at home. I'm very excited about this, as you can tell. I think this is super cool, but I want to know what you think. Make sure you leave those opinions after the video is over in the comments section below. And if you enjoyed today's quick opinion video, do me a favor, guys, give me a thumbs up on the way out. And as always, my dudes, thank you for subscribing. And thank you, B Kong, for showing me how to get this set up on my PC. It's awesome.